bang let's get it i'm only recording the video because there's not a ton of value on the optimizer right now you know what i mean we smack fliff on a sunday had an awesome sunday i'm thoroughly impressed yo if you're not on follow me on twitter i post all the winners there you can see how we've done i didn't get to post as many of the fliff slips that i wanted because i played the bitches at the last minute i think it's coming quite clear to me why the benefit of having access to this optimizer to see those plays right before the game starts that shit paid off this was the first time i played that many 20 minutes before the game starts and that shit paid the fuck off yo joel mb points rebounds in the assist line is at 38 and a half why you know what i mean he can't be judged for what he done way before last season this is his first two game back i think the line too low i think the line's too high i thought it was too high at 37 and a half previous in the previous game is smack i'm taking him to go under 38 and a half points rebounds and assists until i'm taking it go under this 37 or above until he gets back to normal you know what i mean and be under points rebounds and assists at 38 and a half on underdog fuck out of here yo franz wagner his assist line is at five and a half now i know he's been hooking the hell out of this just to go over but without uh, Ben Carroll, I think the, the offense is running basically through him. And because he was scoring so frequently with Ben Carroll first out, the passing went up. So I'm not saying this is going to easily clear. I think this is a sweat. He's only hit this 80, not only he's hit it 80% in the last five games, but he's averaged six assists. And you can clearly see that he's fucking hooking the hell out of this five and a half. But I like Wagner, Wagner to go over five and a half assists against the phoenix suns hey tyler hero punch rebounds and assists is at 33 and a half i've been sleeping on him this is him over the last 10 games it's hitting at 70 percent. he's averaging 36 pras over the last 10 games i'm taking this to go over 33 and a half i wish there was a sharp play so i could see what that is i'm riding with the trend on this three pick entry speaking of which let's hop back over here to daily ground fantasy to see if anything changed i'm gonna refresh price picks and um see if we come up with anything nothing was I was about to stream, to be honest. I was getting ready to stream. I walked through the whole block, didn't see nothing hot. So I was like, nah, it was a waste of time. And as I go back through here now, after just dropping the plays that I like, you can see that it's still just not anything. Even over here on Fliff, Fliff is by far my favorite book to bet on now. Easily. From a from a beginner from a beginner better perspective, once you get to learn as much as I have learned from a beginner as a beginner um fifth is easily the best book to build the bankroll on you got to also understand i'm not only a beginner i'm a beginner that started a bankroll from nothing i didn't jump in with five grand and start dropping 50 dollar plays i grind up from nothing and the best way to build the bankroll was plus is with plus ev plays on a dynamic payout site like fliff i'm in florida we don't have access to all the other books fliff for the dynamic payouts and using plus ev plays to crack the fucking fixed payout sites like price picks and underdog yo so that's my three pick entry for underdog right now and then again i'm walking through the optimizer to see if there's anything but look even here on fliff i even made a graphic for this play this is the only play that i had i have some time so i'm taking Denver broncos this is sunday next sunday the broncos versus the raiders broncos minus six broncos balling the Chargers balling the fucking Bengals should have never even came close in that game. The fucking NFL is a joke. But um, there's just not a ton of value anywhere. But again, like, <clears throat> you know what I do when that isn't, I go to PickFinder. This is PickFinder.app for those of you who do not know. Use code really Rico. You get 10% off every single month for the rest of the life, for the rest of your life using this uh, subscription. Or should I say for the life of your subscription? pickfinder.app you can check out the updates for those of you who already know what pickfinder is it's fresh and clean and they made a ton of new adjustments updates made things more efficient and um i'm excited about pickfinder they keep doing so hey i'm going to check out the last 10 i like to do this though i'm gonna select everything get rid of the modifiers real quick so i can see pure last 10 on the nba see if anything hot and also also as you can see we don't have any 100 percent hit rates over the last 10 games we have a few 90 to 80 but then they're not traditional lines we got blocks one three-pointer made for caleb martin that's on sleeper 
looking for underdog plays and while i'm at it you can still you can do you, you wasn't able to do this on sleeper just to select one i mean wasn't able to do this on pick finder but this is just one of those i could put no modifiers i want to see the straight lines all on underdog on the nba last 10 games these plays have a 70 to 90 percent hit rate which you can see but again i took the nba play i took this under because obviously they the last 10 games he only has two games from this season but that line is too high and as i scroll through here to try to see any more oh look at josh giddy we should take josh giddy over 21 and a half points rebounds and assists it's hitting at 80 percent over the last 10 games and then um i don't know if i found another three pick and i didn't i just popped up with that josh giddy play so i don't even have another play to drop on underdog fantasy but that's my three pick is it all nba i hope it was all nba yes <laughs> that's my title <laughs> three nba player props today yo i'm really rico you already know let's get this dough bro peace i'm out